So in the days after I posted my video talking about the new June Pixel feature drop, I've gotten comment after comment from people saying I am yet to receive this update. It has not hit my device just yet. And in fact, that was the case with me as well, but I, I needed to make some content about this stuff. So I did the only thing I felt like I could do, which is sideloading this update. So in this video, I'm going to do my best to show you exactly how to do this as well. Honestly, it is not an altogether complicated thing to do. There's a little bit you know, of an involved process to do it, but it's not that bad. All you need in this instance is a computer. My tutorial here is gonna be running Windows. I'm sure there are ways to do this on other operating systems, but we're not gonna cover that in this. So let's grab a couple of prerequisite files. There are two links in the description down below. The first one that you need to go to is the first link. You're gonna scroll down, click on download SDK platform tools, scroll all the way down, tick the box and click on download. What this is going to get you is a zip file containing the tools to actually interface with your Android device. They'll be in a folder that looks like this. Right click it and you probably have an extract all button or something like that. We're just gonna go ahead and extract it. And inside that is another folder called platform tools. And these are the things that you need. Here is my recommendation to you just to make this easier. Rename this folder ADB and then put it in the root of your C drive like you see here. I have a whole bunch of extra stuff in mind that you're not gonna have in yours because I've done all sorts of other weird things. The reason I do this is because it's just going to simplify some of your commands. The next thing you're going to need is in the second link. These are all of the different OTAs, the over-the-air files for different Pixel devices. Pixel 7a, Pixel 7 Pro. You're just going to pick the device that you're working on. In my instance, it was the Pixel 7 Pro, and it's probably going to be the very bottom one. Now, if you're on a particular carrier, you will see here Telstra and things like that. Be mindful of that. But if you bought it, it's unlocked. You're probably going to be the very bottom one, and you can even go into your phone and see which one you're currently on, and that might help and help you figure out which one you need to be going to because it's going to be the next one down more than likely. You can do this by going into your settings and going down to about and then we're looking for Android version and you'll see your build number down there TQ3A230605.012 and as you can see that lines up with that. Before I ran this I was on this one because that's the last update that I had. May next is June. So at any rate Click on that download link and download that file. You're then going to have a file that looks like that. Now that is a big, long, confusing name. So what you're gonna do, again, you're gonna rename this as well. And name it something that's just easy. How about pixel update, whatever, something simple. You're gonna then take that file and you're gonna put it into that ADB folder that we just now put into the root of your C drive. Again, this is just to simplify things. I think mine is still in here. You can see several different things for Surface Duo, recovery files for Surface Duo that I have put in here for similar reasons. I just named mine 623 because that was the month and the year of this update, but you can name it whatever you want to name it. So now we need to put our pixel in recovery mode. There are a couple of steps to doing that. Let's go into the pixel. First off, we need to turn on developer mode. So back in our settings, scroll down to about phone, scroll down to build number, tap that a bunch of times until it pops up and says, put in your pin. Now you're in developer mode, go back. System, uh, where is it at? Developer options. Scroll down and turn on USB debugging. At this point, you can plug your phone into your computer. Now you're gonna click on your start menu, type in CMD and open up the command prompt. Let me bring this back over to this menu. And we have to do something called a change of directory. And this is why we moved all this stuff to the root of your C drive, because what you can do is you can type in CD, C colon slash ADB. We are now CD'd, we have changed our directory to that appropriate directory. So now what we can do is we can type in ADB devices. And what should happen is you should get a little pop-up on your pixel asking you to allow this to happen. You're gonna tick the box to say allow it every time if you want to and click on allow. We are now up and running. Now we can type in ADB reboot boot loader and hit enter. At this point, you can see that my pixel has shut off and we are about to reboot into the bootloader 
may also be known as a fast boot, whatever it is you want to call. I can unplug it at this point because it's done what it needs to do at this moment. So you can see that there are some things on the screen here. It's rather blown out and hard to see, but this says start, this says press volume keys to select uh, different menus. So we're going to use our volume keys and look for recovery mode. And we're going to hit the power button to boot into recovery mode. In just a moment, we're going to see a sad little android man who has tipped over and his front cover, like Bender from Futurama, has popped open. What you're going to do now is you're going to hold the power button, press volume up, and release volume up while still holding the power button. Once this pops up, you can release the power button. Great. We can then use the volume keys to scroll down to apply update from ADB. This is, again, very bright, and my camera is struggling to focus on it, but it will say apply update from ADB. Press the power button again, and you will get a black screen with just a little bit of text on the bottom. You can then plug your phone back into your computer. Let's go back to this other screen. And again, you put your recovery image into this folder. You've named it whatever you want to name it, 623 pixel update, whatever. What you're going to type in next is ADB side load and then the full name. So mine will be 623.zip. I'm not going to actually do this because I've already done it. But you're going to type in that command, ADB side load, and then the full name, whatever you named it, with the dot zip at the end. You're then going to hit enter, and a whole bunch of stuff's going to happen, a bunch of text. It's going to basically put that onto your device. Once it's done, you're going to see it just return to a screen that just says that ADB with nothing next to it. You know that you're good at that point. You can either type in ADB reboot, or back on your phone, there will be an option to reboot as well using the power button. To do that, you'll reboot and you will be running this latest update. You then are going to need to go to your Play Store and update all your apps because some of the things are inside apps, like the camera app is where you're going to get that new macro video mode. But at any rate, you should at that point be up and running. So guys, hopefully that has been official, helpful. Hopefully that's an easy tutorial for those of you to follow. Again, links to both of these things in the description down below. Subscribe for more useful content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.